Okay, here I would like to give a demonstration a, of an acoustic an acoustic analysis of the audio track uh, found on 9/11 uh, eyewitness uh, from Hoboken Pier. This is uh, a DVD uh, made by Richard Segal. Uh, he was, you know, in uh, New York City on 9/11, and he videotaped this from uh, a loading dock across the bay from uh, anyway, overlooking Manhattan Island. Obviously you'll be able to see in the video track. So anyway, uh, one neat characteristic that uh, this audio track was able in video was able to capture was how readily low frequency or subsonics mild subsonics uh, can travel over water and you know that's why they have low frequencies and fog horns and things like that but anyway uh, so the microphone on his camera was able to pick this up and I'm so grateful for it because this is a fantastic demonstration um, of that technique and uh, it, it helps us to be able and readily see visually exactly when explosions occur, their acoustic characteristics. Uh, you can tell from this the size of the cavities that the explosion occurred in, the way the cavities were uh, distorted as a result of the explosion, uh, the different resonances as they drifted up, down, or, or held you know, their own uh, within the cavity. You know, the cavity. Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and roll this, this uh, uh, video and let you watch the acoustic analysis of it. All the tunnels, they are also closed down. Let's go to 1010 Winds reporter Eileen LaPalmer. She is at City Hall. Eileen? Well, Liam, here live outside of City Hall, the entire, as you can imagine, it is absolute chaos here. The entire city has come to a standstill. Everyone just standing, looking at the smoke pouring out of the World Trade Center at this moment. There are certain people trying to call their families. All the cell phones are down, as you can imagine, since they are the tribes at the World Trade Center is the antennas where people would be calling on the cell phones. They're Okay, now here you can see the explosion. You can see the acoustic uh, characteristics changing here. Obviously, the cavity is getting smaller. And there's other uh, resonance coming out of this explosion because there were other cavities, uh, you know, branches off of this that did, were not altered by the explosion. Um, there's other things, but you'll be able to notice these uh, characteristics in many of the other explosions. And now, looking at the audio tracks of other uh, uh, DVDs available on this subject. I've been also been able to see this explosion uh, in the audio tracks of these others and other explosions too. But anyway, I'm going to uh, let you continue to watch. Up around the block just to use a payphone at this point. Everyone's still trying to figure out what's going on. I ran into this woman named Susan. She was supposed to be in the World Trade Center today at this very moment. Again, at this point, everything is shut down. The Woolworth building has been evacuated. City Hall is shut down and also has been evacuated. We will bring you more as soon as we have it. Eileen LaPalmer, 1010 Winds, live outside of City Hall. Okay, now we have word from Washington that the Capitol and the Treasury are being evacuated. This in addition to the White House and to the Pentagon. The Pentagon apparently having been hit by a plane this morning, not unlike the World Trade Center Twin Towers, both of which appear to have been on the news of what had transpired here in New York City this morning. If you are a New York City firefighter, you are requested to report, ordered to report to your station immediately. Uh, we need the help this morning with the major disaster unfolding in New York City, and uh, the world has changed markedly in little less than an hour. When we first got word that a plane had crashed into the World Trade Center, we then saw a second plane crash into the second tower of the World Trade Center. We later got word of a plane apparently crashing into the Pentagon, word that the White House had been evacuated, now the Capitol and the Treasury also having been evacuated. What we have not heard yet are casualty figures for what is obviously a massive disaster at the World Trade Center, and uh, there is no doubt massive loss of life there. We've been uh, talking 
to various reporters, people who've been trying to get to the scene, people who have been watching it unfold from uh, all parts of the city, because uh, the World Trade Center obviously is uh, visible for many, many miles, and uh, it's hard to miss when there is uh, smoke and uh, a massive explosion coming out of it. The first we heard was from uh, Tintin Wins Account Executive... Uh Okay, I'll alter it for a moment. Now this explosion, uh, you notice that uh, he's highlighting dust clouds coming out of uh, the lower floors and possibly even some at the basement. You'll be able to see later on if I continue doing this tape long enough. Uh, even you'll be able to see dust clouds down and where this cursor is at right now. But he's talking about the dust clouds around here. So that's, there's explosions going on in the lower floors. I'll continue the tape for you. Joan Fleischer, she was the first to call this in. Joan, you're still there? I'm here. Okay, uh, you've been watching this on a, on a rooftop with uh, friends and uh, neighbors, and uh, how would you gauge their reaction at this point? Everyone is in shock. Everyone, people can't believe what they heard or they saw. Um, they've been running downstairs to keep an eye on TV, but I haven't left this area since I called you at first. And it's, it's unbelievable. I mean, they're still bringing in all the police and the fire trucks. They're ongoing. Um, the smoke is it's unbelievable. You can, it doesn't even look like they've been able to do anything other than respond to, I guess, emergencies on ground. Because there's nothing happening on it within the building that I can see from here on top. They have police uh, helicopters overhead, I think, to keep everybody else away. And uh, the smoke is building, still heading towards Brooklyn. It's, it, you can smell the smoke from here. It's coming from the entire area of both buildings. It's unbelievable. unbelievable. Well, it, this, this really is a, a case of a situation that you thought couldn't get any worse, getting no. progress, progressively worse. Like, yes. uh, <laughs> first one plane crashing into the World Trade Center, then uh, a second crashing into the second tower of the World Trade Center. Unbelievable. Word now that a plane has crashed into the Pentagon. It has been evacuated along with the West Wing of the White House. The Treasury has been evacuated. The Capitol evacuated. The Sears Tower in Chicago has been evacuated. There was no threat of an attack against the uh, Sears Tower, but they're obviously going to quit while they're ahead there. And uh, all of this world... Oh, wait. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The building fell. Are you there? The building fell. Oh, Where that uh, was coming 